I'm going to see Don Paul, who is chief meteorologist for WIVB TV in Buffalo. And maybe he can give me some idea of what's happening all around us. I got in my car and drove about an hour north of here to Lockport, New York, the home of the Erie Canal, where Don was there to meet me to do this interview. Thanks, Don, for coming out today. We got our uh, little cameras going here. And I figured, I'm just trying to understand, you know, I thought it would be so simple to look up the record of the Great Lakes ice coming in and going out. And all I see is a graph that goes like this. Yeah, there, there is a lot of data that is available from uh, NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. And it, it's pretty extensive data, but it still takes some hunting and pecking to find it all. Since September of 2020, I should say, we've had 27 record highs at the Buffalo Airport and one record low. And that was set back in January on the 22nd when, when we hit five below. Uh, 27, a ratio in a stable climate between record highs and record lows should be closer to one to one. Oh. Not, not 27 to one. And before long, we were talking about the deadly Christmas blizzard of 2022. The combination of super low temperatures, pretty high winds. Pretty and, high. <laughs> yeah, and, and ridiculous uh, amount of precipitation combined. My windshield wipers could not keep up. Yeah. With, and so that even police couldn't Within be that blizzard, 